Hey guys, Jordan Schumacher here. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to never run out of content ideas again in your life ever. And so I've kind of got a love-hate relationship with, with content marketing on the one hand. If something isn't directly leading to, to sales, I'm typically not all that interested in it as, as a direct response marketer and as a copywriter. On the other hand, unless you have a significant ad budget, the best way to generate attention, the best way to generate traffic, which you then are able to, to convert and, and arbitrage into other opportunities is through content. And so this YouTube channel is a, is a really great example of, of content marketing that I put out. Uh, this, this content generates attention. I don't spend a bunch of ad money on ads and this content generates attention, drives people to my Facebook group, The Art of Online Advertising. Which is, which is free, really a great resource. You should check it out. You can go to jordanschumacher.com slash community to check that out. Um, it drives people into my free Facebook ads course. And so really YouTube is my version of content marketing and that's where the majority of my traffic is generated from and that's where most of my subscribers from and it's where most of, of my community and my small little audience originates from. And so one of the things that I always hear people running into is I'd, I'd love to do content marketing, but I just don't have any ideas. I don't know what I should create content about. And the short answer to that is create content about anything and everything. Uh, it's, it's very proven that the internet values quality or excuse me, quantity of content over quality. And so if you feel that, you know, you, you can't create content because it's just got to be perfect and polished and all that. That's, that's just, that's bullshit. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. The, the substance of the content is far more important than the, the polishedness or the finish level of the content and also values in the eye of the beholder. Um, case in point, keeping up with the Kardashians. I, I personally receive zero value from that show but it's a very popular reality TV show or so I'm told. A lot of people pay attention to the Kardashians and what they're doing. Case in point, the market determines the value of the thing, not you, so just create content. This is shot on an iPhone, right? It's an old iPhone, not even the newest iPhone. It's an old one. Uh, and yet I still have more YouTube subscribers than the average YouTuber, right? Um, so. That's the first thing. But when it comes to, okay, great. So I don't care about, you know, the level of polishness. I don't even know if that's a word, but the level of, of quality or, or the level of finality to my content, I'm good with just creating something and putting it out there. What should I actually talk about? What should I actually create my content around? And that's what I want to talk about in this video, because there's, there's no excuse to not have any sort of, of content ideas. And so in this video, I'm going to show you three tools that you can use to never run out of content ideas or topics or headlines or angles ever again for the rest of your life. And so the first tool is a very popular tool. You've probably heard of it called BuzzSumo. And all you have to do for BuzzSumo, they do have a paid version. I don't have the paid version, but for BuzzSumo, you can just simply enter in any sort of topic and basically it will pop up the most shared content under that topic and there's a bunch of different filters so let's say we're going to talk about facebook ads it's going to type that in and it's going to show me all of the most you know facebook the most shared most in facebook engagements twitter shares pinterest shares reddit engagement all of this for facebook ads it's only going to pull the first excuse me, 10 or so, uh, you need BuzzSumo Pro to actually get all of the results, but you can see here, right now, some of the most shared things are when Facebook has pulled down various Trump ads, right? If we set a specific range, that's, uh, you have to upgrade for that. Um, but let's say we were to put in content marketing. Well, here's a Creative Trends infographic that uh, went viral. Um, here's an interview on content marketing. Here's 15 content marketing tools for success. Here's how to create a successful content marketing funnel. And so basically just by looking at these headlines, you can see what's incredibly popular. You can literally steal the headline and then just riff on your own, go through your own, uh, go through your own expertise, right? So 
certainly don't steal the content, but if you need to steal the headline instead of 15 content marketing tools for success, it could be five content marketing tools for success that you need in 2019, and then just go through your own list, right? So you can use these headlines as inspiration, and then if you just use the headline as inspiration and talk about what you already know in your own experiences, it's gonna be your own, right? You're not gonna, like, no one else has the exact same experiences as you, no one else most likely has the exact same opinion as you. And so if you just use these headlines as a jump off point, and then you just kind of riff on these headlines, whether it's typing it out, whether it's talking to a camera, whether it's a podcast, you're going to have unique content authentic to yourself that also resonates with the market because these headlines here, these subjects are some of the most viral subjects and the most socially shared subjects on this topic. So that's number one, BuzzSumo. Number two is a site called answerthepublic.com. It's kind of a creepy site. I don't know what this dude's doing or why the designers of this site thought that this is a good idea. Like actually really kind of uh, intimidating, but it's a great site. And so all you have to do is if you type in here, you can enter your keyword and basically it will come up with hundreds of different questions related to that keyword. So going back to our Facebook ads example, I'm just gonna type in Facebook ads. It's going to take a few seconds here while it's figuring out the questions, but basically what Answer the Public does is it takes the keyword and then it finds all sorts of Google searches related to questions around that keyword. Keyword. So for example, like there's, there's just a, a ridiculous number of questions here. Um, you can click on it to see different, uh, the, the search results for that question, but I mean, what Facebook ads work best? So not all of these questions are great grammar, right? Uh, but you can take these questions to then create content. So what Facebook ads work best? You could literally change that to what Facebook ads work best for e-commerce companies, what Facebook ads work best for SaaS companies. You, like from that single question, there's four videos from this single keyword. Facebook ads, you have a year's worth of content right here at a minimum. Uh, there's our Facebook ads safe, our Facebook ads tax deductible. What is the Facebook ads manager? So like you can take any of these questions and you can create content that teaches and literally answers these questions. And the bonus is these questions are actively being searched on Google, which means you're going to pick up search traffic if you answer these questions well. So uh, Answer the Public is a really great resource. And then the last really great resource that you can go to is Quora.com. Um, I guess I gotta log in, I'm not gonna do that, but on Quora.com, it's, it's literally like a more, it's a, it's a higher quality Yahoo Answers basically, where people go to Quora and ask a ton of different questions. Uh, and then very smart people typically uh, write detailed answers to those questions. Quora is a great place where, again, you can go in, you can type in your keyword, and then you can take a look at all of the questions that have been asked for that keyword, and then you can just simply answer those questions in your content. And the fourth, I know I promised you three, here's a bonus one, the fourth best way to come up with content ideas is to simply ask your audience. And so everyone has an audience, even if it's just your Facebook uh, page with your friends and family as friends, everyone has some sort of audience. And so all you need to do, and if you're, you know, if you're subscribed to my email list, if you are a member of the art of online advertising, you'll see me do this occasionally is just ask people, Hey, what are your top three questions that you have around this topic? And you would be shocked at how many people will email you back, will comment on that post and will let you know what their questions are. And so all you have to do is once a quarter, once a month, once a year, whatever, depending on how much content you're trying to create, is just ask your audience, hey, what, what questions do you have around this thing? And then just take all of the questions that they have, you can drop it in, in a spreadsheet, and there you go, you have a content calendar for the next month, the next quarter, the next year. So those are the three ways, plus a bonus way, four ways that you can never run out of content ideas ever Again, using these, you should never have the excuse, well, I don't know what to create content about because there are literally more ideas that you can generate in 15 minutes, actually three minutes from following these strategies than you'll ever be able to create content for. And so I'm curious, 
Are you currently creating any sort of content? If not, why not? Uh, what's, what's the number one bottleneck? What's the thing holding you back? And if you are, what is the intent of, of, of that content? Is it, is it you know, YouTube videos? Is it, uh, is it blog posts? Kind of what are you focusing on and, and what are you hoping to build with that content? Drop a comment below. I try and answer every single one. As always, if you got value out of this video, it would mean the world to me if you could subscribe to this YouTube channel. There's a button down below. It would mean a lot to me. That's all I've got for you today. Take care.